and we are set for the Dubai World Cup. Dermis Sotagake, a little fractious in the starting stall, settles now, racing! Dubai World Cup number 28 is underway. Military law fast away with Dura Eridae working across Laurel River from deep around, along with Newgate into the first three or four, followed by Defunded. Dermis Sotagake checked narrowly there, Kabir Khan shoots up the inside, saloons through to a nice spot on the inner. That's your first division, a gap of four lengths back, see Senor Buscador working alongside Krupi, then came Clapton and the Japanese pair of Wilson Tesoro and Ushpa Tesoro are second last and last. So inside the 1500 metres they go here in the Dubai World Cup and it is Laurel River from gate number 12 who has taken over to go to the lead. Leading out onto the back section of the course by three quarters of a length, defunded second, a gap of three lengths to military law from Dura Eridae, then came Newgate, three deep, punching the breeze at the moment but seems to be travelling well. A length and a half to Kabir Khan working alongside Derma Sotagake. It'll be five lengths to Krupi who's on the running rail. In the centre of horses was Clapton. Three deep. Senor Buscador with Wilson Tesoro. And Ushpa Tesoro is seeing them all here with about a thousand metres left to go. So they're about to approach the back turn. Laurel River has had it pretty easy up in front. Hasn't had to work too hard but defunded. And Laurel River clear away from the rest. They lead a half a dozen lengths. Dura Eriday into third. Kabir Khan sneaks up. Hasn't gone around the horse so far. Newgate pressed the issue out wider. Frankie Dottori asking the Bob Baffert runner to uh, lift here in the late stages. Senor Buscador was next, followed there by Derma Sotagake, already under a ride from Wilson Tesoro, Krupi. Ushpa Tesoro, third to last from Clapton. Military Law drops out of it. Laurel River has given on the slip here. Laurel River puts a big break on them here in the Dubai World Cup. The best part of eight or nine lengths here. And Judmont Farm are close. They are 200 metres away from Dubai World Cup success here. He's got 10 lengths now on Senor Buscador. Kabir Khan drops away. Ushba Tesoro coming from a long way back. But this is an absolute romp in the Dubai World Cup. Laurel River, Ty Gaucher, take a bow. Dominant in the Dubai World Cup. Photo finish for second. Ushba Tesoro crossed over with Senor Buscador. Then came next over there was Wilson Tesoro from Dura Eridae. Followed there next by Derma Sotagake, defunded Krupi. Then came Clapton, Kabir Khan dropped away, Newgate. Uh, these are the scenes that are going to endure. They're going to be some of the most popular we've seen at Maidan in the near 15 years of his existence. And we're going to bring in the Dubai World Cup winner, who's going to take a turn and we'll get a word with a man who's ridden a double on the night. And here's the stuff of dreams to Ty Gaucher, the multiple champion jockey, but he gets his slice of the biggest racing action out here. Ty Gaucher, I'm just going to put it to you. Ty Gaucher, Dubai World Cup winning jockey. How does that sound? That's got a, ri a great ring to it, you know. Uh, back in the day when the late great, his highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum brought me to this wonderful country. In 2001, I didn't think 23 years later I'd be winning uh, the world's richest race. Just take turn, 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 turn. I didn't think I'd be winning the world's richest race, but uh, you know, all this would not be possible, you know, without without the team I work with, Zabil and Bupit Seymour. But you know, um, I'm just very, very grateful. I have to, I have to pinch myself. I've, I've been very fortunate out here to win multiple championships and that, and. Uh, to ride any winner on this stage is, is special and I've been fortunate enough to, to ride five up to this fella, but I said the other morning after his gallop and I didn't want to jinx it, I didn't tell anyone when he'd boop it. You know, normally the jockeys have a briefing after a gallop, but uh, I put boop it aside and I said, I have never, ever ridden a horse to feel like that and we only win a four furlong work. And, um, I, you know, they have to go and do it and there was question marks on his stamina and whatever and you know hats off to Judmont Farm you know they're, they're a worldwide recognised organisation and could have any jockey in the world on them and they kept the fate with me you know he got beaten his first run here in Dubai he backed it up with a huge run in the Burj Nahar and uh, look thanks to uh, thanks to their highnesses for keeping me on this horse and uh, I'd be forever indebted to them. Ty your boys are here to see this as well enjoy the moment well done mate. Thank you very much thank you Really quickly, going to get a word with the man of the hour, the winning trainer of the Dubai World Cup. That can't sound too bad, Bupa Sima. Oh, it's 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 indescribable feeling to, you know, to train a horse in Dubai. We've, I've, I've grown up here almost. I've been here 21 years, and you know, I thought I would I would probably never have a horse to run in the Dubai World Cup, and just to win it is, is is tough of dreams. 
I'm thankful to a lot of people around me who's given me this opportunity. Um, your rider was emotional. A word on him. What a ride he gave it, Tiger Shea. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's next to none. He's a, he's a superstar. This is why he's 11-time champion, champion jockey. I think the footage is going to come out, but our own Tom Stanley filmed you watching the race. You were like a statue, ice cool. Is that how you felt? Well, you know what? I was just hoping that nobody's going to come from the back and catch him. You know, and he, 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 he kept going, which is superb. Hey, Pat, go and enjoy the moment. Well done. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.